Hi children, myself C.H. Yamini Devi, working as TGT English in Nemmakuru. Children, in the previous class, I have already explained you the lesson, the turning point, part 1. Is it right? So, today I am here to explain part 2 of the lesson, the turning point. Before going into the lesson, children, I want to ask you some questions. I hope you all have your textbooks. Just close your textbooks for a minute and answer my questions. Note down the textbook, uh, note, down the, note down the questions in your notebook and send those pictures, send those notes with answers to your teachers, okay? In that way, you will get checked. And here, my questions are, and I want to ask on the, based on the previous lesson, children. And my first question is, what is the name of our lesson? What is the name of our lesson? The name of our lesson is the turning point. Whose turning point we are discussing in the lesson? Whose turning point we are discussing in the lesson? We are discussing about the turning point in the life of APJ Abdul Kalam. What was, what is I refer to in the first passage? What is I refer to in the first passage? I refer to APJ Abdul Kalam, none other than our speaker of the lesson. And when Abdul Kalam was in class 5, what was the greatest conflict was went on? The Second World War. And the answer is the Second World War. What made APJ Abdul Kalam to chose his first job as a newspaper boy? What made APJ Abdul Kalam chose his first job as a newspaper boy? The prices grew higher and they were not affordable to the poor people because of the Second World War and the resources became less. So, to support his family, APJ Abdul Kalam chose his first job as a newspaper boy. Who were the two rivalry countries mentioned in our lesson? The two rivalry countries mentioned in our lesson were Germany and Britain. My next question is, what was the German Air Force called as? What was the German Air Force called as? Germany, German Air Force was called as Luftwaffe. Is it right, children? Yes. What was APJ Abdul Kalam curious about? What was APJ Abdul Kalam curious about? The answer is APJ Abdul Kalam was curious about planes. And my next question is What was the name of the science teacher of APJ Abdul Kalam? The name of the science teacher was Mr. Siva Subramanya. Iyer. Okay. My next question is, what was the topic discussed in the class of APJ Abdul Kalam on a particular day? The topic was about birds flight discussed by his science teacher, Mr. Siva Subramanya Iyer. Why did Shiva Subramanya Iyer to call his children to the seashore? My next question is, why did Shiva Subramanya Iyer take all his students to the seashore? 
he took all his students to the seashore because the children gave a gloomy reply that they did not understand the topic about birds flight so he wanted to show them visually and to the for that he took all of the all of his children to the seashore what do birds use to change directions what do birds use to change their directions while flying birds use their tails to change directions while flew yes so see here children let me start the lesson uh, part 2 of the lesson uh, the turning point okay in the previous lesson i have explained you after 15 minutes of observation about the birds flight they came to understand they they understood the topic and they cheerfully shouted that yes sir we now understood the topic about birds flight very well okay so the flight principle the flight principle what is called flight flight principle the flight principle is nothing but how birds use their wings and their tail to propel directions and to fly higher while they flew in the sky okay so see children so this is the principles the birds use okay these are the flight principles the flight principle got imprinted in my mind in whose mind in apj abdul kalam's mind and he decided that in the future i will study uh, about uh, the subjects related to flight okay because of that day lesson because of that day we, we, that day's visual experience apj abdul kalam was decided about to study the subjects related to flight okay understood children so i always told you when you experience visually or when you experience uh, practically you remember the things for a longer time not only remembering you will get the interest or you will get the curiosity and you make your passions in those subjects so uh, so the visual experience and the practical experience is the better way to learn okay children because of the flight uh, the the day lesson uh, apj abdul kalam decided to uh, study the subjects related to flight however as a little boy i uh, however as a little boy i needed guidance uh, to pursue this uh, field and here abdul kalam understood that i i uh, with having knowledge or with ha having passion uh, it is not enough to uh, pursue the field i needed guidance okay having knowledge and having passion or having interest are not enough to pursue your passions to pursue your uh, dreams okay to fulfill your dreams you need some guidance from your teachers you need some guidance from your elders the uh, educated people okay children understood okay now uh, to take the guidance he went to his teacher mr i asked my teacher mr ayer to guide and tell me how to pursue my interest okay what i need to do like this he asked his uh, teacher mr ayer he told me to study and explore the field of aviation science the field of aviation science to so, so uh, wa, wa, what was the suggestion of mr ayer mr ayer told abdul kalam to study and explore the field of aviation science whenever you study aviation science you become an aeronautical engineer okay and you deal with the aeroplanes okay understood children so aviation science is the study of aeroplanes is the study of flight okay is the study of flight and aeroplanes okay here children i have two questions for you what do you want to become in your life after that day lesson after that topic learning visually apj abdul kalam got his aim and he wanted to become a aeronautical scientist okay and what you wanted to become what do you want to become in your life note down this question in your notes write your answer send your teacher okay children and my second question is how do you feel when you see birds flying in the sky what is your feeling when you see in the birds flying in the sky how do you feel when you see birds flying in the 
sky in groups okay children let us move to the next paragraph whatever i had learned that day changed my life here what is abdul abdul kalam telling us uh, the whatever he le- he had learned that day he had learned that day changed his life so he was telling that it was his turning point in his life i i was inspired to have an aim i was inspired to have an aim from that day onwards he uh, got his aim he decided his aim to become and uh, later i realized how important it was to study physics okay it was to study physics so what what is the important subject you need to study to become an aeronautical scientist or aero aviation to study the aviation science from childhood onwards you need to study physics very well so it is so important to get the grip in the subject of physics okay children okay then you will you will get the good knowledge in uh, physics so i chose physics i opted for aeronautical engineering at the indian institute of technology madras i got the i opted for aeronautical engineering at the indian institute of technology madras iit madras what is the full form of iit madras indian uh, institute of technology indian institute of technology uh, okay he opted for aeronautical engineering engineers engineering subject then i became an aeronautical engineer and uh, as a engineer and a space technologist also and wa- wa- what did he become he became a aeronautical engineer and a sp- space technologist also mr ayer's class has had transformed my life which led me to make a profession out of my passion and here abdul kalam was telling that mr ayer's class had transformed my life had transformed my life here the meaning of the word transform is change transform is change transform is change okay children the meaning of the word transform is change so here the mr ayer's class had transformed had changed my life apj abdul kalam's life which led me which led me to become uh, to uh, make my profession out of my passion okay some children will have the dream of to become a doctor some children after 2 years they will say i want to become a lawyer after 2 years they will say after i want to become a politician like this they change their dreams okay but after that day apj abdul kalam go uh, decided strongly to become aeronautical engineer and to study aviation science okay so what was his passion to become a aeronautical scientist okay aeronautical to become a to study the field of aviation science uh, he want to become a aeronautical scientist scientist okay whenever he when he did the hard work uh, see children having dream having aim is not enough to uh, succeed that but you need hard work you need hard work okay in that way in that particular according to that particular aim here with the good guidance of mr ayer abdul kalam did so much hard work and he chose physics and he uh, succeeded to gain the knowledge in the subject physics and he became the uh, he uh, he followed the guidance and he became the aeronautical scientist aeronautical engineer okay here he made his profession out of his passion not the uh, out of his passion not the other, not, not with uh, he uh, according to his passion out of his passion he made his profession okay okay understood children okay nowadays children will say i want to become a doctor and after few years they choose some ordinary jobs okay because they don't do hard work they just study they just pass their uh, subjects they just pass their schooling and they uh, try some uh, ordinary jobs and they settle in their career okay here abdul kalam did hard work according to the guidance given by his science teacher 
and uh, uh, with the guidance and with the knowledge in physics he grew his knowledge in physics okay in a planned way with the hard work and he made his profession out of his passion okay understood children what made possible to uh, make his profession out of his passion his hard work his interest his curiosity his strong desire these all things made him a professional aeronautical scientist okay children right so mr ias class has transformed me my life which led me to make a profession out of my fashion aeronautics or the science of flight what is aeronautics the science of flight was special to me which was special to abdul kalam aeronautical science or the science of flight was special to abdul kalam my career began in this field my career began in this field see here children we have a note here how uh, after be becoming aeronautical scientist how he served our nation we are going to read in this note okay after graduating from iit madras dr abdul kalam joined drdo joined drdo defense research development organization defense Re defense research development organization and designed helicopters for the indian army drdo full form is defense research development organization okay in this research organization they develop helicopters fighting helicopters fighting aircrafts for the indian army okay understood children and he designed helicopters for the indian army he was later transferred to the indian space research center isro isro what is the full form of the isro indian space research center and he transferred to that department and worked as the project director for slv3 slv3 india's first indigenous satellite launch vehicle what is what what is slv3 it was satellite launch vehicle and it was indigenous here what is the meaning of the new word indigenous the meaning of the new word indigenous is native or local native or local so it made in india made in india okay local local satellite local satellite launch vehicle not the satellite satellite launch vehicle okay to launch the satellites we need a vehicle that is called slv3 that was named as slv3 designed by designed by the team of apj abdul kalam okay in the year 1980 he joined the indian missile program in in the year 1980 remember children he joined the indian missile program and made two missiles namely agni and prudvi for the indian army what were what were the two missiles agni and prudvi he made and he dedicated to the nation people affectionately called him as missile man of india see children how he served the nation in different ways he people affectionately called him as missile man of india because he uh, made two missiles called as in agni and prudvi and dedicated to the nation later on he got a chance to work as the chief scientific advisor uh, to the uh, chief scientific advisor to the prime minister of india from 1992 uh, to 1999 from 1992 to 1999 he worked as the chief scientific advisor to the prime minister of india okay children in the year 2002 he was elected as the 11th president of india he was worked he was elected as the 11th president of india unanimously unanimously means without any competition uh, unanimously by all political parties all political parties elected him as the 11th president of india without the second opinion okay without second uh, comp uh, com competent okay so here see in 1997 the government of india honored him with the highest civilian award the bharat ratna oh, so here we are talking about the awards he got okay children note down in 1997 the government of india 
honored him with the highest civilian award the bharat ratna what what is the highest civilian award of india bharat ratna he dedicated his achievements to all his teachers he dedicated his achievements to all his teachers who inspired him and motivated him to serve his motherland throughout his life okay how humble he is uh, he was see he, he dedicates his, his all achievements to all his teachers who inspired him throughout his life in his autobiography he wrote his autobiography the book name was the wings of fire the wings of fire he mentioned that his teacher shiva subramanya ayer shiva subramanya ayer's lecture was the turning point for all of his accomplishments for all of his accomplishments understood children so what what is the what is the name of his autobiography the wings of fire so i hope you all understood the lesson uh, now children i will ask you some questions based on the lesson okay so here my question is what was the turning point in kalam's life explain note down the question what was the turning point in kalam's life explain the turning point in the life of abdul kalam was the day when mr ayer gave them visual experience about the birds flight from that day onwards he got he decided his aim to study subjects related to flight so it was his turning point in his life my next question is when was kalam honored with bharat ratna when was kalam honored with bharat ratna kalam was honored as with bharat ratna in the year 1997 Okay children let me ask you some true or false statements children my first sentence is shri kalam took up computer engineering at madras institute of technology is it true children no it is false shri what what is the correct sentence shri kalam took aviation science aeronautical science in iit madras as his subject fifth sentence is shri subramanya ayer ignited young minds ignited ignited uh, shri shri subramanya ayer ignited young minds here ignite means see here children ignite means light or kindle light or kindle in uh, i already told you apj abdul kalam was a young boy and he was in class 5 okay at that time at the at that age he was inspired to become a scientist so you know in the other words mr ayer ignited the young minds uh, to serve the motherland okay children okay so that's it children i hope you all enjoyed the lesson show your questions with answers to your teachers have a nice day bye